So we obviously have a radical difference here between these two paradigms when it comes to the issue of flight. Yeah. So the conventional paradigm, that ability to fly is still coming out of that one trunk, isn't it? It's got to evolve somehow, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's going to evolve multiple times. It'll evolve in the bats. It has to evolve in the birds. Uh, in the creation model, you just have one origin of flight because God designed things to fly. All of those complex attributes that all have to be right, well, that's because God made them all that way just to be right. So when we look around, we would expect to see possibly multiple created kinds of birds, and that's exactly what we see. So we've seen here, we've got these dwarf geese and this teal, which is kind of like a duck. That's a single created kind. We've got a number of doves in here. Oh, <laughs> just flew through. <laughs> that was awesome. A number of doves in here, that are, those are also members of a single created kind. Mm -hmm. So there's diversity once you have the ability to fly, but the ability to fly isn't the thing that's being generated during that process. It is a unique designed feature of these creatures.